Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rothley here, and today I'm doing something different. I'm going to be playing a game called Serena, which is free on Steam. Uh, and I, I, I guess it's like a puzzle game. So we'll see. Scary music going on. Sometimes, when I make a great effort, oh, I can look around. The percent, the sweetness of the breath, Serena. Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? So I guess can't you. I even remember. All right, so you click through to get him to say different things. This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted tide, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love. still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. It's because you meant to, yeah. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Okay. Based on an Irish folktale, warrior poet O'Sheen goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the land of youth and promise. Niav is of the Fey folk, the fair ones, fairies. Okay. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The oh, elements of imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. Okay, then. The elemental imagery is a box. He's just repeating himself on there. A bit quaint. Still. Some lines jump out at you. Okay. I think I look at that photo again. Maybe he still has more stuff to say about it. The furniture came. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table. Oh my god! A curious, sensual thrill. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Mm. It's more like you than a girl. But okay, alright, whatever you're into. Wait, there are drawers here, can I open those? Mm. Yes, okay, I can. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so real now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. 
The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? No, how the I don't remember trees anything. How the which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. Get this we more. laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air, and the stillness all around. We lay back and I gasped when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you with a kiss, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Okay. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you're feeling lost. Will do. All right. Okay, so I guess it's the photograph is actually important to this because it, it lets us know what like more things. Okay, she looked happy in the first one, but now she doesn't look actually that. Okay, now she looks sad. So that's probably something. Look how handsome our guy is. I mean, that is a sexy man right there. It, it's different. But that just can't be different. Am I going mad? Yeah, alright. <laughs> See if there's more clues in here. So I, now that I know I can open up drawers, that means I can probably open up these bedside tables, so let's see. So I guess the photo becomes new each time you see it after doing this thing. She said to me in the letter, in our life before things went wrong, did she ever mean them? Oh, Bible, okay. Is it possible there were times I was dismissive of her beliefs without even realizing it? I don't think so, but memory can be so deceptive. Could it hurt me to be a bit more open towards religion? Serena's faith was always a rock for her to lean on. And I certainly could use one right now. Why can't you just accept that I want God in my life? Yep, yep. Have you Religion any idea was a big how many thing. Times this okay. Me get through? Of course you wouldn't know. He was there for me all the times you weren't. Ooh, shots fired. Okay, let's click the flower. That's funny. I don't recall seeing this plant before. Not that it matters. She probably found this rare specimen during her walks and wanted to keep it. Okay. See what's going on over here. I hate that you've got to like click round here. That annoys me. Hmm. Zombie space dinosaurs from the deep ate my family. Someone said, work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us. Was it Freud or Marilyn Monroe? It was Freud, okay. And I let my work destroy my love. Writing was so all-consuming for me, and I made so little headway in all this time. It all seems so meaningless now drained of everything that made it worth reading in the first place.
Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. A lot of rarities and special editions. You didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? Oh, no, not your Necronomicon. No. Of course not. Phew, thank God. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. Okay, so he's not telling much else. Maybe if I click on the other bookshelf. A lot of rarities. You didn't lend out. But most of the books are a lot of rarities. Okay, so there's editions. nothing much else about that, so... I'll go back to that photo sh photograph to see if it's changed. Now she looks. Now she looks really pissed. Somehow she looks sadder than I remembered. Could I really have been so wrong about that night? She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb, beyond it. She was. Lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Okay. Why did I let her do that? I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. now. Yeah, okay. Hmm. A I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, these could be us. We had joy and laughter in rooms once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed. Lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic world you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy and threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spells, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me anymore than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. Okay, please tell me there's no more. Oh, know great. What thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. This is the most passive aggressive relationship I've ever seen. Before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that will never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blindly drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote when you could be raking in it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your past, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense, and the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on, you pursuing your dreams that will never be, lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting book. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. You've gone as far as you can, and something's got to give. Okay, so nothing else is in that. The jewelry box. What is it doing here? I don't know. Do we have to like, okay, I have to figure out. He just picked it up, so. Or maybe he's gotta like. Sit down, we need to talk. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, what rain. Well, these rings are mine, but what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. Is that all we can do? It's hers. I can't believe okay, she would we just leave one, it here. Why don't we go Where the hell is she? This can't be true. 
Okay, let's see. Can we open this? You're very good at letting things you don't want to acknowledge slip off you. You continue as if nothing changed. What the hell? That she's dead. Oh, holy shit. Oh, God. <gasps> no. Oh, my this God. Happening. Can I look out here? The body. It's. No, I can't. I can't escape this nightmare! Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. Wait, what? Just to make sure nothing like this would happen. But no, we couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Bio will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. You spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. Wait, wait, no. Can I get out? What the hell? Wait, is the body in them? What? I'm incredibly confused. Oh, shit. You forgot your... Fuck. It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll take it from the ashes. No. Not like this. Please. What the hell? No. Wait, so I just die? I just die with that horrendous picture of a horrible looking woman. Okay, so that was the uh, game Serena, if you want to play it, it is free on Steam for both Mac, PC, and Linux, if, you, if you're weird. But okay, yeah, so that was interesting. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.